Well, welcome back, guys. Today we're looking at Fubo TV stock. Oh my god, holy smokes, this stock has been on fire. We saw 60 million in volume back on Thursday, and this stock has climbed 100% in one week, all the way to $64 and all the way back to $28 today. Um, this stock's been a roller coaster ride, and um, I'm gonna be giving my own honest opinion on Fubo TV stock and where I think this stock is gonna go. So, if you guys don't know, today is 1st of January, so I'm wishing you guys a happy new year and I'm wishing you all of the success for the coming years and 2021. Oh my god, this year was terrible. Hopefully, Corona goes away um, and we have a great 2021. So, where do I think this stock is gonna be in the next few weeks? Well, I think it's consolidation time and I'm quite bullish on Fubo TV stock. I'm going to be giving my whole thesis and analysis on basis on the third quarter results and um, their revenue projections for the future. So for the time being, um, I think Fubo TV is going to consolidate around the 25 to 30 area for some time. Uh, and hopefully the fourth quarter results are promising and they do have some sort of high growth to see the stock bounce up back again. So uh, if you guys don't know why the stock went around the 60 area, it's because Fubo TV announced that they're going to be launching uh, a sports betting, sports wagering uh, program inbuilt in their Fubo TV system. So you guys know DraftKings and all these sports betting sites. And I think that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And um, it's a growing industry because uh, the US has actually legalized this industry now. So they have announced a merger and they have bought a company, I think known as Balto Sports. So they expect to have this by uh, the next year uh, or this year actually. Uh, I think by the third quarter, some sort of thing in between. So Fubo TV is quite promising and that's why it did go to $60 right around here. And Needham's analyst, Laura Martin, gave it a buy of a 60 price target before it went to 60. Then another uh, analyst from Greenwich, I believe, uh, gave it like an $8 target. Um, and that was based on that Fubo TV won't be successful and he was saying stuff like Sony had a million subscribers and they had to shut down so I don't think Fubo TV is going to survive. Well, the thing about him is I think he's just trying to make some money because I know that they had a lockup period, right? The the shareholders of Fubo TV and they were allowed to exercise their stock and sell their stock on 1st of January, I believe or no, 31st of December. So I think he knew that and that therefore he gave a short target of eight so that he could make some quick bucks and he knew there was going to be some pressure in the stock after nearly doubling in one week. So that was a pretty uh, sad thing. I feel sorry for the people who bought it at 60, but I don't think it'll be too long, maybe around a few months or maybe around one year it can go to 60 again, but it all depends on the quarter four results. So therefore we got to consider it's quarter four results guys and see whether it's going to be getting those results, it has currently, uh, with the third quarter of 2020, 455,000 uh, paid subscribers. And uh, one year back, it was 288,000. So almost like it, it kind of doubled, right? Um, the subscribers, 58%. Okay, does that make sense? Maybe my calculations are bad. But according to this, 58%. Um, and uh, we saw 42% the year before at 203,000 sub paid subscribers. So they are doing pretty good and they saw a pretty great quarter, right? This was a pretty big jump uh, due to the pandemic. And I think the pandemic has now shifted people's minds on having more of an online type of a connection to TV. And Fubo TV is, um, has no cables, so it's all based on your internet and every, uh, everything to do with online. So um, the average re revenue per user, I find this pretty interesting. There's one pro about this and one con I can see about this is that it costs $67 
uh, the average user is paying right now. Whereas in Netflix, someone's paying $14 or $15. So the pro is that they're earning more money from one user, which is good on one hand. But the con is that $67 is pretty damn expensive. And um, I don't know if it's going to be that easy to get more users. Because like if you think about Netflix, people see it as only $14 per month. And then they're like, okay, why not? We can just try it for a few months. But Fubo TV is $67.70 for an average user. And also one thing I don't like about their uh, subscription model is that they're only giving a trial of seven days and Netflix used to give a trial of 30 days. And that's what really got the users in. So maybe I think they can extend that. But other than that, I really like this company. I think the sports betting market is gonna be amazing for this company. Here's, uh, I think, the CEO had to say. so. Q3 was the strongest quarter in Fubo TV's history, exceeding targets in all of our key metrics. Subscription revenue grew 64% year on year, ad revenue grew 153% year on year, and we ended the quarter with an all time high of 455,000 subscribers. So, this is pretty impressive. They had 61 million in revenue, which is pretty damn good. Um, it's obviously not, nothing close to what Netflix gets. And Netflix has around 70 million in paid subscribers, where Fubo TV just has 455,000. So what I see about Fubo TV is that next year, I think it will be close to hitting 1 million subscribers. So it's a very high growing company in my opinion, and that's why I'm in it. And I've bought around 100 stocks in this company, actually more, and I'm willing to buy more stocks if the stock co comes down. So, um, uh, we have a letter. I'm gonna put the link for this um, shareholder like presentation down in the bio. Um, we are gonna be looking at their guidance. So the, this guidance means um, what their projections are for the future. So in recent in recent months, sports have turned despite the ongoing pandemic. So they were operating this great with barely any sports on in the pandemic. The NFL has continued to play college football, including Pac-12 and Big Ten, as well as soccer fans return. And um, I think in the soccer fans, uh, soccer is a pretty growing industry in America as well with the MFL. And uh, as a result, we're raising our Q4 guidance. So this is pretty good. In Q4, revenues are uh, expected to be around 80 to 85 million. And that will be a 51% to 61, 60% increase year over year. We also expect to end the fourth quarter with 500,000 to 510,000 paid subscribers. So this is pretty uh, damn interesting because that's a 58% increase year over year uh, from the fourth quarter of last year. And um, the full revenue of 2020 is expected to be in between 244 million to 248 million, which is an increase of 65%. That's pretty amazing. And they're saying that 2021 revenue will be around 415. So that's almost a 70% increase. These revenue projections are insane, but I think they can get them. And um, they're excited and around the online sports wagering. Uh, uh, but they're saying uh, that we're um, not including any guidance and any projections uh, projections regarding the online sports wagering uh, theme that they have added. So here they give a little bit of a summary and then you can also go on to their live video uh, webinar and here are all their financial statements. So they did end with a loss of 274,000 this quarter. Uh, th these numbers are in thousands. So this company is a loss making company guys. And what I've seen is when the company turns from a loss making company to a profit making company, Wall Street really loves that. They really do appreciate what they did. We saw that with Snapchat and we saw that with many other companies like Tesla. And these all companies have really just skyrocketed in the past few months or maybe actually last year. So I think that's the bottom line in Fubo TV uh, in their company. So with that said, I'm going to end this video now. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. And um, I wish you a very nice year ahead. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.